let's go, baby! Hell yeah, bro. Let's go. Let's do it, baby! Let's go. Let's go. Oh my god. What do we think? Definitely a spearfish South Dakota vibe. <laughs> I am packing for a weekend in South Dakota. A sub four minute mile, maybe a few hikes, and some cuddly clothes. Sam, how's your packing coming along? Pretty freaking good, can you tell? Spearfish, I'm just most excited. It's like the one part of the US that I haven't ever been to. Like I've never been Wyoming, South Dakota, North Dakota. So I'm excited, did I, did I do that in the right order? <laughs> Final packing, gotta get the Lean X Endurance, Stream Endurance, and the Immune Boost. Just the essentials. Uh, treat this house like it'd be your parents' house. So like lock up when you leave, all the back doors lock them up, and yeah. And just know, if you want to use it, my parents arrive tomorrow night. Yeah, do they know I'm going to be like in, like dropping out packages and stuff? <laughs> Who would have thought yes. that we were going to let Joe Hale, yeah. intern of one week, take over the house? <laughs> Weekend getaway! <laughs> Everybody got those down? Pit stop halfway into the trip. Decided to stop and roll out. Back backs were getting a bit sore, I think, for everyone. So we are somewhere in Wyoming, Sin City. Oh, I know it's this. Oh yeah. Something like, what, Do you remember season one? I can't remember it actually. Connor, come on, real quick, come on. come on. Megan, quick. What are we doing? Three, two, one, come on. Megan! No, stop it, there's cars coming. We made it to Wyoming. Uh, On this episode of Run Jump, we got Italy. Drew Hunter Can't trying to break four. We, gotta, we need to get there and get out of this car. <laughs> made it! Happy to have you guys here. I'm stoked. <laughs> Is that our separate house over there? Uh, there's three people. For the bad boys. Bad boys. Yeah. We are playing hearts. It is the night before the time trial. May 27th, Wednesday, 9.22 p.m. Connor is in the other room doing his reset session like a good boy. Drew and I are totally gonna do it right after we're done with this game of hearts. Hear that, Crystal E? <laughs> <laughs> it's like 9.30. He'll just have to go just doing some Crystal E activation, post-travel, and then we're gonna go to bed. And uh, that's it. He's gonna have a watch, and then I told him. It's me. He's filming. <laughs> all right, so we all just woke up in the the cabin, bunkhouse, the bunkhouse, and I think I'm gonna go drink some coffee, have a bagel, 
roll out and stretch, and then stretch shake out. out. <laughs> so uh, we are in Spearfish, South Dakota, which is where I attended college. I spent three years, my first year, on the women's basketball team, and then my next year on the women's cross country and track team, and my third year doing my student teaching. So it holds a special place in my heart. And with the canceled um, races, we figured we should be taking advantage of the time to um, be able to take some road trips um, safely. And I uh, decided to do some time trialing at a little bit lower altitude in my favorite place in the world. Shake out run is done. We went long today. That's the longest shake out I've ever done before a race. We did like 32 minutes. <laughs> yeah. We're taking this real seriously. <laughs> Here. And like lower down. Just yeah. on this one side. Yeah. It's so bad though, dude. I can barely like get a full breath. It's really weird. It's, not that it's definitely from travel. Oh, it's the way I was sitting in the car for sure. Six hour drive. Did my back pretty dirty, so uh got some like spasms kinda going on here, but we came here to run fast, so I'm still gonna do my best, but uh We'll figure it out. The minute you let go and be like, oh, I already feel like shit. I'm tired from my like big week of mileage from the week before. You like basically give yourself an out of like being more relaxed and more stress free rather than like you feel good in the warm up and you're like, so oh, you I'm really going to have to the yeah. expectations. Like, it's like, it's almost a sense of freedom. Connor and I are planning to start a little bit ahead of Drew give him a carrot to chase as he tries to break four. If he is successful in breaking four, he will be the first person on South Dakota soil to break four minutes in the mile, so that'll be pretty cool. It should be good. It'll be interesting. Drew's a monster, and this is going to be fun to just try to help him out and just go after something fun. Let's go, boys. So we do it, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Oh my God. Awesome. I can't believe. That was so easy. <laughs> Fuck you. It's so easy. It's like my third fastest mile ever. It's in a time trial, like 3,000 feet elevation, and all I had was my boys with me. I think that speaks volumes to the sport. And man, that was. Most fun I've had in a track in a while. That reminds me why I do this. It was alright. It's yeah. tough, man. I was just telling these guys, it's like you gotta go to a special place when you go to that 
hole and I just wasn't ready to go there yet. So Reed and I had a good like first couple laps and then we just had to kind of hold on for that last lap. So it's good. It's good to have your teammates out here. It's fun to watch freaking Drew just scream by you with the 400 to go. You're like, all right, well, he's going to crush today. So that's fun to have everybody do well. Coach, I just ran 357 in South Dakota. At 3,648 feet above sea level. Yeah. I, I went back to look through the research, you've lost three seconds. It's a 354. Isn't that pretty good? Yes. <laughs> Isn't that awesome, Coach? It's awesome. I'm so proud of you. Yeah. It was absolutely impressive to see what Drew did today. And then I'm familiar with 10 Man Elite because I follow him on Instagram. And it's just, it's neat to see how motivated those guys are and how excited and the passion they have every day. I mean, no excuses and they just get after it every day and they're, you know, they're just driven. And, and um, you know, they're going to accomplish some things just because of their attitude. And